open episode 15 with Cassie Cage trying to explain to Supergirl why Supergirl doesn't have an opportunity in this up and coming television championship matchup where it was supposed to be a triple threat but Cassie says that Supergirl is not medically cleared to compete. Cassie says she's a viable, valuable asset and she doesn't want her to compete. It's not that she's jealous or anything and Supergirl says I never said that and I don't know anyone else who's been saying that you're you know jealous of me and Cassie was like well you kind of just been in a bit of a slump lately kind of annoying Supergirl now because I think she's starting to realize that Cassie Cage might be a little jealous of her and doesn't want her to have more championship opportunities because she's not the co-leader and if she actually wins a championship that will piss her off. We move on here to Yellow Ranger confronting the Black Cat who actually was going to be ringside for Caviero's championship matchup here. Trini told her hey you show up ringside there will be repercussions and Black Cat says well if you want to fight we can fight right now and she ended up getting battered by Yellow Ranger, surprisingly. Actually, you know, she got a little bit of offense in. She got, actually got one good shot in before getting super kicked in the face a couple times, as you saw there. And then, to top it all off, didn't just leave a line after that. One, to make sure she wouldn't come to the match. Power bombs her through a table. And I guess in Yellow Ranger's mind, she's thinking she's evening the odds. But that's pretty... That, you don't have to do all that. I mean, I don't see why you have to attack or maybe get someone else to be ringside for, for you to watch your back, if that's going to be the case, even the odds. Maybe ask her, don't threaten her, but it was her choice, and I guess that's how she decides to do things. A lot different from Pink Ranger, who we have yet to see come back for a championship rematch, because she's not medically cleared. Because she was cleared, and then she faced Yellow Ranger, and now she's not medically cleared. And now Yellow Ranger coming to the ring for her first title defense here as television champion. This is a regular one-on-one -on -one fall matchup here. So pinfalls and submissions have to happen in the ring. But there is champion's advantage. Also, this is a champions versus champions match. And you might be saying, well, all this happening, why is this not the main event? Because in the main event, we have a TLC match between Goku, Mike Guy, and Johnny Cage for the Prince's Crown. So I, I think that just works perfectly. I think that actually is a good idea for the main event, to be honest. Oh wait, here comes the pyro. Nailed it. All right, let's get into this matchup. Ah uh, yes, of course, we have to present the championship first. For those of you who are new, this is what the television championship looks like here in FWF. Blue, white, and black. Here we go. Wow. Instead choosing the taunt here. Oh wow, in front of Caviar and I, what is her strategy here? Why would she do that? She's the champion, I get that. The, the bell clearly rung and she decides to taunt in front of Caviera. I'm not understanding her strategy at all. And Caviera feeling already angry, now a bit frustrated that she's being disrespected like this, gonna punish the current champion, who may not be champion for too long. And Cav might become our first dual champion. I mean, she was she defeated She-Hulk in one-on-one -on -one contests, so I don't think this is too far out of her reach to win this one here. Nice Michinoku driver. I think Yellow Rangers actually only won one match here in FWF, and that one victory was for the television championship over her, or I guess former friend, Pink Ranger, but I'm not even sure about that. I almost called her her partner, but I doubt that. Wow, went for that belly to back suplex. Then that was actually going to be a backdrop driver. That got countered into a crucifix now for the roll up pin. Whoa, wow. And after this, we actually have the Joker addressing why he has assaulted. Obito after this matchup. Going into the corner. What is this? Springboard. I I want to say that's an instant Guri, but it's more like a jumping roundhouse kick. She nailed it perfectly. Now to the top rope and Cav is rattled. Yellow Ranger stalking her, perched, waiting, picking her spot, and that was a beautiful missile drop kick. Is it gonna be enough to win? Does not go for the pin, that's interesting. Instead goes for the arm. What is this? Monkey flip using the arm. That was really impressive. I don't think I've seen that one before. Or at least in a while. Now into the corner. Oh my goodness. Hand spray back elbow. That was cool. Doesn't go for the pin off of it. She's doing a lot of damage and not going for any pins. It's interesting. I thought she was about to do another one. Nope. Cav able to stop it. And now Cav turns things around. Tornado DDT? No. Oh man. Jaw first into the top rope. Might have knocked her out. Hand across the face for this pin. That was close. That was way too close. 
But Cav has an advantage right now. She's got to take advantage of it or got to hold on to it for as long as possible. If I'm her, I think I keep targeting the head here to set up for the silencer or the interrogation. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, no. Goes for the legs instead. Got a heel hook applied trying to make her tap out. And she's got her away from the ropes. Trini's in the center of the ring trying to reach for the ropes. Cav is blocking the other path. Genius technical prowess, but now caught with a couple shots to the face. Or a few shots to the face. Oh, wow. Rolls through out of it. Drop to a hole. Looking to follow up immediately. Cav. Double leg takedown. And just mounts her and punches her repeatedly. Damn. Oh, Leap Frog. Oh, finally trying to get back in this one, Jilla Ranger. A lot of damage taken for her from the hands of Cav by now. Looking to go for a big move here with this Tiger Fin kick. She got it. In prime position. Top rope now. Huge moonsaw. Holy crap. Oh, didn't go for a pin. Doesn't think it's over, does she? Well, I guess what's her plan of attack then? Kicks to the gut. Head butt. Overhand. Yellow Ranger. Here we go. Setting up for that drive-by. It might be over right here. A string of moves from her. Tiger faint kick. Moonsault off the top rope. Drive-by as well. Spraying. Oh, well, slingshot splash and cap. Able to get out of the way. She's a little slow here. But she's able to get back in this one. Trini is stunned. Is Cap actually going to pull out the upset after being hit with all those freaking moves? Now she's going to just bounce right back in it like it ain't nothing? Buckle Bomb? Hits it. No way. Oh, she's going to go for the silencer too. Go for her own string of maneuvers. Oh, but it's countered by Trini. Into a roll-up now. Could be over. Two. Three. Oh, that was really close. That was really close. Damn. Tiger knee drops Cav. Yeah, I think I might have knocked her out, but doesn't go for a pin. I actually don't know what she has in stored. What is this? Whoa, handspring. Cut her. Oh, man, that's it. That's it. A little tired here going into the pin, but it might actually be enough. Two. She got her. Wow. Honestly, I expected Cav to put up more of a fight here, but Trini just seemed to be too much for her. And that's weird to hear. Granted, she did beat Shield with a roll-up, but still, how did she... F I, I don't know, I just thought she might have had this one. Perhaps having so many matches under her belt, Trini just had everything planned out perfectly. And Cav was kind of angry too, and maybe that was a part of her plan. She wanted Cav to feel overwhelmed with emotion and adrenaline so that she would be more susceptible to making a mistake. She did, and now Trini is still your television champion. Who's the next challenger gonna be? That is the question. But we must move on now to the Joker, who has some words for Obito and the fans of FWF explaining his actions on the last episode at the very end of the show, where he hit Obito out of nowhere with the JKO following his championship match. Everyone wants to know why. Why, Joker, why? But no one wants to ask how. How did you do it, Joker? How did you trick Obito of all people? The guy with the Izanagi. Because Obito really isn't the leader of Unprincipled. I am. And he only gets to act like the leader because I let him. He only gets to hold that championship because I allow him to. And now I'm going to take that championship away because I can. If you want to know who's really in control here, it's me. I've been in control all along. Whether anyone in Unprincipled knew it or not, they know it now. Obito, it is time for you to pay your dues and lay down for the Joker. Damn. Well, Mike, drop. <laughs>